Example 4. The Yeti police officer arrives on the scene of a caribou collision. The caribou left a skid mark of 35 meters behind him. That means my initial displacement was 0 meters and the distance traveled is 35 meters. If you leave a skid mark of 35 meters, then you traveled 35 meters. If witnesses say the caribou was running at 500 meter seconds, meters per second before the slide, that's a velocity, and it's before the slide, so that's my initial velocity of 500 meters per second. What was the caribou's acceleration? Now, if he's colliding and he's sliding, then he's obviously coming to a stop. So we know our final velocity is 0 meters per second. So now I have this lovely equation, and it doesn't give me any time. So anytime you don't know the time, we use v squared equals v naught squared plus 2a times d minus d naught. This time I'm solving for acceleration. So we're going to look at, first of all, the things that are 0. My d naught goes away. My v naught goes away. So v squared equals 2 times a times d. So now if I'm solving for, uh, sorry I had that backwards. This was, that goes away and v naught squared is still there. So let's just say I subtracted the v naught squared across so it's a negative v naught squared equals 2ad. And now I'm going to divide both sides by 2d. So negative v naught squared divided by 2d equals a. So there's my acceleration. So let's plug in the numbers. a equals a negative v naught. It's a negative v naught squared, so 500 meters per second squared, divided by 2 times 35 meters. All right, so my acceleration is. Well, I'm going to go 500 squared equals that, and I want the negative of that, so negative of my answer, and I'm going to divide that by 2 times 35 is 70, so I have a negative 3,571.43 meters per second squared. Now it makes sense that it's negative because I'm slowing down and I started off going really fast and didn't travel very far so it must be a very large acceleration in the negative direction.